Welcome to this tutorial video. The goal of this video is to show you how to add a staff doctor. A practitioner is considered as a staff doctor when they are a member of the practice's staff but not classified as a treating doctor or an assistant practitioner. Let's first navigate to the doctor's list screen where a user can add a staff doctor. From the main diary screen, click on the navigation wheel. The navigation wheel will then open. Click on the configuration segment. The cash register management screen will then open. Click on the doctor's tab on the navigation bar. The doctor's list screen will then open. This screen consists of a list of all the practitioners that are set up at the practice. To add a staff doctor, click on the Add New Doctor button in the Staff Doctor section. The Add Update Doctor screen will open. Please note that the warning will appear stating that by saving now, a new doctor entry will be created and will link the practitioner to this entity as a staff doctor. There are three methods from which a user can follow in order to add a staff doctor. The user can either add the practitioner manually, search through the master doctor list, or import the practitioner from Medibase. Let's show the first method, adding a staff doctor manually. The staff doctor section contains various fields that need to be completed. Click on the title drop down menu to navigate the status or profession of the practitioner. Select an option from the list that best fits the staff doctor. Please note that the title will be set to doctor by default. Add the practitioner's initials in the initials free text field. Add the practitioner's last name as stated on the official identification documents in the surname free text field. Add the practitioner's landline number that will be dialed in order to contact the practitioner in the TEL number free text field. Add the practitioner's fax number where facsimil documents can be sent to the practitioner in the fax number free text field. Add the practitioner's place of business where the practitioner can be found in the physical address free text field. Add the practitioner's qualifications as obtained from a university in the qualification free text field. Add the practice number of the practitioner as they are registered with the HP, CSA and BHF. Add the practitioner's registration number from the South African Medical and Dental Council. Add the practitioner's cellular number from which the practitioner can be contacted in the cell number free text field. Add the electronic mail address from which the practitioner can be contacted in the email free text field. Add the postal address where letters and parcels can be sent to the practitioner in post address free text field. If the postal and physical addresses are the same, then the user can click on the duplicate physical address button. Once clicked, the information from the physical address field will copy to the post address field. Below, a user will see two status indications. The first status indicates whether the practitioner is active or inactive on the system. The second status indicates whether the practitioner is linked to Medibase. Let's show the second method, searching through the master doctor list. At the top of the add update doctor screen is a search through master doctor list search field. The user can click on the search field and start entering the name of a practitioner that has been loaded onto the system across all entities. Please note that the user is able to search for a practitioner by surname, practice number, or SAMDC number, or a part thereof to shorten the list to the desired results. Select the desired practitioner from the list of results. If the practitioner is not found, a new one will need to be created manually or imported from Medibase. Once selected, the practitioner's details that are currently on the system will pull through to the staff doctor section. 
Please note that most fields will be greyed out and the user will not be able to make changes to these fields. Editable fields can be changed before the user saves the details of the staff doctor. Let's show the third method, importing a practitioner from Medibase. At the top of the Add Update Doctor screen, click on the Import Doctor button. The Medibase search screen will then open. For more information on how the Medibase list screen works, please refer to the Medibase list screen user manual, linked in this video's description. Select the desired practitioner by clicking on the line corresponding with their name. Click on the Select button to select the chosen practitioner. Once selected, the practitioner's details will pull through to the Staff Doctor section. Please note that all fields are editable and changes can be made to the information if the need arises. If the user wishes to exit the Add Up the Doctor screen without creating the Staff Doctor and return to the Doctor's List screen, they can do so by clicking on the Cancel button. If the user wishes to save the new Staff Doctor to the Doctor List and return to the Doctor List screen, they can do so by clicking on the Save button. Click on the Close button on the Doctor's List screen to return to the Cache Register Management screen.